We just made a 330 foot ice racing track. And thanks to today's sponsor, we're able to rip it up. Welcome back to 3x7 Outdoor. Today we have Ice Ninja RC ice tires and we're so excited to test them out. This is a new product in for review called Ice Ninja Wheels and we've got to test them out to let you know what it's all about. With Ice Ninja, there's a lot of different options in your RC ice tires. You can actually get tires from little 16th scale tires all the way up to 5th scale tires. And as you can see, these are brand new wheels for the Rustler, but these you can see are kind of dirty. With a little bit of modification, you take your old rubber off and make your rims smooth and round, they just slide right on. And we'll stick some glue on them and you're set to go. These wheels are 3D printed and as you can see, full of studs. Now you might think, oh, these tires are not going to work in the snow at all. They're only going to work on the ice. They're really one purpose. But as you can see, there's integrated tread into the 3D printed wheel that allows you to go in the snow a little bit easier than you would mm -hmm. with just regular studded tires. Mostly a tire designed for ice racing, but of course we're going to put them through the 3x7 outdoor testing procedure to see how much they can handle. So I think we should get out there and see how fast we can go around the track with regular stock tires. the ice track we've got the cars so let's see how long it takes to go around two laps with no ice tires all right the sledge is up first are you ready I'm ready three two one go oh boy he's slipping up a little bit a little bit we're gonna keep this footage all raw so you know that there's no cuts he's coming around this corner oh, oh he crash. hit the snowbank out of control a little bit. Let's see if he can come around here. Can't really get traction, but he's still doing really good. Let's see. Keeps hitting the snowbank. And he hits the snowbank again. One more One lap. lap. He's still going. Trying to keep a moderate speed so that he doesn't lose traction and keep hitting the snowbank. See what he's doing. Can't see myself. All right, come on, take that turn. Let's see, oh, just hitting the snowbank. There we go, that's time. Time. Don't know how much time that was because I'm editing it in, but we'll see if the ice tires are faster. Now let's see the wrestler. Yep, three, two, one, go. Oh, that is difficult. Holy crap. Oh, I don't know where I am. This is the hardest part because you can't. Crap. Left one. Lap oh. two. <laughs> that was tough. He came in backwards. <laughs> so that is really tough. Now so. let's go get the ice tires and see how much faster it is. As you can see, this thing looks absolutely mean getting up close to those tires. Look at it, they just glow practically. Yeah, but Try look at out. this. The integrated like tread in them helps them go in the snow pretty well. Wow. They're not just chewing up the snow, they... Not bad. But let's take them down to the track. All right, we are down here, and as you can see, 
The ice tires are working great. They turn really nicely. Like if this was a stock tire, this would not be turning at all. Had a ton of understeer, but look at this. It, it knows what it's doing. I can pin the throttle down as well. Look at that, look at that acceleration as well. One. Wow. How is it on the sledge? It can stop on a dime too. Look at that. All right, so the reason that our video unexpectedly stopped is because the camera battery died and the RC car batteries died. So we're back out here, different day. Ready to try it again. There is a little bit of snow Just on the track. It's a dusting of snow, but it's still ice. It's still ice. You can see that ice under there. Wow. Can turn really easy. Car is glued to the track. Oh, that Makes was epic. Over. Hey, Russell you did it better. right over it. Also, these tires are not printed with regular 3D printing plastic. It's actually very high quality, so that if you were to, say, crash into some hard stuff like this, big chunks of ice, you're not gonna break the wheels really They can really handle easy. it some. Yeah. So we realized this snow is hard enough to stand on, so we can kind of race from up here. So let's try it. Nice little platform. Go. I'm stuck. Oh, he is already off to a bad start. Can't believe him. My truck's wider than yours. Oh, I can't see. Oh yeah, likely story. Oh. I'm having a hard time. Being able to actually turn on ice is so much easier. And remember, you can just get the outer rings. You don't have to buy the entire tire. Right. You can just get the outer rings and put them on your own tires that you already have. One, go. Oh geez, he is jumping the gun. Uh oh. Where is he? We need right, some see. marshals out here. Oh, no. Going in blind. Ow. Oh, you I made me. it through there. You hit me. I'm still alive, though. Did you catch that? Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I made it through there. All right, I'm driving the sledge now. He's driving the rustler. One, go. Oh, this one's more squirrely. Oh. No way. Go. Oh. Turn left. Oh, crap. Oh. Interference. Oh. You he and your 6S power. As you can see right now, we're having a lot of fun with these ice tires. It's so much more fun ice racing with actual ice tires because you can get the grip that you want. Definitely you, has grip. But you really can't feel what it's like until you get some for yourself. So definitely go over to Ice Ninja so you can buy some for yourself yep. to really feel how it feels. Or if you're feels. local, you can go into Op for Hobby and they have them right on the, hanging on the wall. Yeah. Elk River, Minnesota. Doing. Oh. Oh no. I can't go. Oh. Ah. Take down. Hey, don't wreck your body here. I can't a few of them. Wreck my body. Let's get some montage stuff. I was literally just about to say that. Simpatico.
let's get back up into the studio. Uh, what was that? We've got two sizes of wheels here with us today, and let's just see what vehicles they fit on here in the studio. All right, so we're gonna take these off and slap them onto something different. Fits on a sledge. Fits on a rustler. Mercedes AMG 6x6. Check for some reason. Our E-Revo Black Edition with sledge wing. Check. Drag slash. Most definitely fits, but most definitely not recommended. Not so check. UDR. Check. X with 17 mil hub upgrade. Check. Okay, I can explain. K5 Blazer. Not personally my favorite look, but still check. Haas, 4x4, VXL. Check. 79 Ford Bronco. Check. Slash Ultimate. Check. Also works on Ford Fiesta. And or the Stampede VXL. Check. And if you have part number 6856X, you can fit these red wheels onto... Ow. Here. This is a 12 mil to 17 mil hex adapter setup, and you should be able to mount these wheels to any one of those cars as long as it's open wheeled and it doesn't have like a fender going over it. In the past four seconds that I've not been talking, you've probably asked yourself, why does he have two bags of hot dogs? Well, you'll see. Here, don't put the hot dog in there yet. <laughs> stop! You don't mean... Stop! I'm trying to record something. Here at 3x7 Outdoor, we do scary things so that you don't have to. Ice tires are very dangerous, and if you were to get your fingers caught up in one of them, or even your toes, that would hurt a lot. So let's just see how bad that would tear up a finger. Wait, wait, wait! What? Enter hot dog. We're gonna use a hot dog instead. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Right away we can see the really bad damage that was done to it. Actually tore into the hot dog a good amount. Now let's see what would happen if you were to hold your finger on there, which I don't know why you would do that, but let's see. Now, I don't, trigger warning, sorry but for saying that late, but like, if that don't was Don't do that with the, your wieners. Or your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it is everywhere. It's on the tire, it's. Ugh. Oh no, it's. It's on the hot rods. Is it? It's, it's a the, hot dog on a hot rod. It's on the controllers and everything. Hot rod on hot dog? All we need is some ketchup around here. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, guys, you would not want that to be your finger, would you? Ow. I don't know why we're doing this, but we are. All right, guys. Oh, the lens has hot dog all over it. Well, guys, moral of the story, do not get any limbs or any sort of your or own your flesh. Or your face. Don't get any sort of flesh near these ice tires. They're great for ice racing, but not if you're irresponsible. They're great for ice racing and for grinding meat. Well guys, we hope you liked that video. Hopefully you learned something new and hopefully you go over to Ice Ninja and check out these awesome tires. Once mm -hmm. again, you can get them for rims that you already have or you can get them with new rims. Either way, and they have a bunch of different colors which will be listed right here.
These are really great wheels, aren't they? I do think so. It's night and day the difference. We showed, we put put the vehicles on the track with rubber wheels first, mm -hmm. and then we switched to the ice wheels. It's just amazing. The steering is amazing. Yep. You probably can't tell it on camera, so you need to go down and get some of these for yourself so you can actually feel the difference. We can drift on ice. It's, it's really fun. But I guess with that, we will see you in the next video. Thank you, Ice Ninja, for sponsoring this video. 3x7 Outdoors, signing out. Bye for now.